What is going on guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today I got a two-lay parlay for Saturday, July 6, 2024. Here at Pick Talks, we got the most repeat videos out of anyone. So click that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video. You will find all my plays there. Alrighty, guys. Um, hope everyone had a good 4th of July. I wasn't able to get out any videos for Friday's games, but, uh, but yeah, I, I had a good 4th. You know, my last parlay video, I was talking about how fireworks were overrated and stuff. And, you know, I, I live next to Coors Field. I was out in that area. They had, like, a, a pretty cool fireworks show. I'm not going to lie. I was looking at them. I was like, wow. But um, I still have the same opinion. Fireworks got to be the most overrated thing, man. I'm just going to keep it real. So, uh, yeah, it was a good fourth, though. Fun, fun holiday. A little tired, not going to lie. But we got to get back to work, man. We got a full slate of MLB action. Decent. I think we just have two WNBA games for the Saturday, but let's cook up a little two legger. First pick, Orioles A's. I'm gonna take the, the Orioles in this one. We got Povich on the mound for the Orioles 4.05 ERA, and then Medina on the mound for Oakland A's with a 4.80 ERA. This is a good spot I want to fade Medina in. And when we look at his numbers here, how he usually pitches is he'll have a great start and then a bad start, a great start and then a bad start. Um, his last five starts, or his last four starts, he had four allowed four runs, then he allowed one run. Then he allowed four runs, and then he allowed one run. Something tells me Medina's going to get hit up today against this Orioles lineup. You know, they just are coming off that series against the Athletics where they actually look pretty damn good. I think they, I think they went 3-1 and one in that series. But I don't know if um, that was that the Athletics are – you know, in a good stride right now, or if the, the Los Angeles Angels just suck ass. But um, I think they're in a rude awakening against this Orioles team. Povich, don't get me wrong, he's not a guy that I love to tail in this this Orioles rotation, but I think I think Povich comes out, and this is actually a really good spot for the lefty um, in, in Oakland. You know, he should be able to do work against this Oakland A's lineup. So for the first leg, give me the Oakland A's on the money line. Second leg, we're, we're going to roll with the Nerfy. I just gave this, this pick out in my Yerfy Nerfy video, so sorry if you're hearing it again. Uh, but it's the White Sox Miami Marlins. Uh, we got Crochet on the mound for the White Sox and Chirinos. I want to say Cheerios every time I, I see that guy's name, but Chirinos on the mound for the Marlins. We all know Crochet. He's just been incredible this year. 3.02 ERA. Uh, Cheerios, <laughs> 3.77 ERA. Um, I literally just gave out the same pick. So if you did watch my Yerfy Durfy video, you could just honestly exit out at this point because I'm, I'm going to give out all the numbers again. Chicago White, uh, but what I'm really fading in this uh, this matchup is these teams' lineups. Um, we have two solid pitchers on the mound, and then we literally have the two worst lineups to end the game. I mean, both these teams' bats just haven't been able to figure it out all season long. With the White Sox ranking 28th in batting average, 29th in OPS, 30th in RBIs, 30th in total runs, 27th in home runs. And then the Miami Marlins, 23rd in batting average, 30th in OPS, 29th in RBIs, 29th in total runs, and dead last 30th in home runs. So two good pitchers, two shitty lineups. Let's roll with the Nerfy. So that's going to do it, guys. First pick, Orioles A's, Orioles on the money line. Second pick, White Sox Marlins. Give me the Nerfy. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my hitting camera more closely, follow me on Instagram at Brad Wins Better. Post all my wins and losses there. My Pick Dogs content, other free picks, it all funnels back in it there. But most importantly, subscribe to Pick Dogs on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.